Good day, my name is Andrew Barrow from the Apartment Specialist, and today I'm talking about hidden costs when selling your Auckland apartment that you really need to be aware of. You see, a lot of times when owners come to sell an apartment, they get given the cost, i.e. commission, and that's in marketing, and that's pretty much it. And there's actually quite a few other costs involved, and that can be really, really frustrating for an owner when they're trying to budget, figure out what they need to sell their apartment for, and all, that, all those kind of things, and nobody wants surprises. So we come under basically five topics. One being pre, the pre-contractual disclosure, or Form 18. Uh, number two being extra information on the apartment or complex. Three being lawyer's fees. Four being around rental income and missed rental income. And five being GST and tax components, which often aren't uh, included or, or thought about until after the fact. Okay, so I thought I'd just go through these pretty quickly. Now, number one, pre-contractual disclosure. This is something that as an agent, we cannot sell your apartment without. This is something that's only for unit titles or apartments, which when you sell your apartment, it's basically saying, have there been any issues? Have there been, is there any planned maintenance? That kind of thing uh, on your apartment. Now, this has been made compulsory since the, the Act came in in 2010, in May, and Unit Titles Act. And the reason why it's compulsory is because too many purchasers were purchasing apartments without being aware of what they are purchasing. So you can understand it's very important, but it comes at a cost. So this document is charged uh, to you by the body corporate, and the fees range from some body corporates don't charge anything, some up to around about $350. Now, if you're working with a specialist, you can actually, uh, they can actually create a Form 18 for you and give you all that information, and you can contact your body corporate by not actually having to pay that fee. Now, most agents won't, don't do that, but if you are, just ask us and we can help you with that. It's a little bit of work from your part, but hey, you can be saving a few hundred dollars. Okay, now number two, extra information. Now, a lot of real estate agents who maybe not, don't specialise in that building will need extra information and they'll need body corporate minutes. Now, you may have a copy of them, but you'll often be charged for extra copies by the body corporate, like $25 here and there, and if you need two or three of them, it's $75. Um, right there. So that's something that often owners aren't aware of, so I'd sort of include that in your budget. Now number three, lawyer's fees. Now be aware that conveyancing, which is what's called, what, what it's called when you sell your apartment and the title is basically changing over to the purchaser, and that's around about $1,000 including GST. Now if you've got a mortgage on your, on your property when you sell it, there's going to be an added component. Of, of releasing that mortgage, which adds around about $300. So I'd probably budget about $1,300 for conveyancing costs. So that's something a lot of owners forget about. It's not something that obviously we charge, but it's something a lot of owners don't take into account when going to sell their, their apartment. Okay, number four is a missed rental income. Often a, a, a purchaser will want it to be vacant, and this vacancy will happen maybe a week, two weeks, three weeks before it actually settles. And that's income that you were getting and then all of a sudden you weren't, and you may have not budgeted for that. So be aware that you may need to budget for a loss of rental income when you're selling your apartment, maybe for a couple of weeks. Generally, there's a changeover, and this often can be, if done properly, can, can be made so it doesn't occur, but it does often happen, especially with people who don't, don't specialise in apartments. Okay, now number five is not calculating the GST component. Now, obviously, you have commission when selling your, your apartment. That, that's that's what we're doing. That's what how we earn our money, and now we get paid. But and a commission amount is not just the commission amount. There's a GST a GST component of 15% in New Zealand, and that gets added on to that commission amount. So, for example, if the commission is 11,500, it's approximately going to be just like 14,000 is what you'll be charged. So, be aware of that GST component, and put that into your sums when calculating what the costs are when you're going to sell your apartment. Now, I hope that helps. And just to round it up again, make sure that you're aware that the pre-contract pre for disclosure is going to be needed and you'll be charged that around $250. Number two, extra information on your on your apartment or complex that can range up to 100 if you're dealing with an agent who doesn't specialise in apartments. Number three, lawyer's fees are now up to $1,300 if you've got a mortgage, $1,000 without. Number uh, four, missed rental income and that changeover, maybe one or two weeks. Uh, number five, not calculating the GST component on the commission part of when you're selling your property. So I hope that helps and helps you get a full picture and gives you information or allows you to uh, form the information you need to figure out what's best for you moving forward. And yeah, thank you and have a good day. Cheers.